Welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at how to add navigation links to your design to export in your chosen output, output environment uh, without using prototypes. So this will actually create the functionality that you require depending on your environment. So in this example here, what we have is a basic login screen which leads to our home page. So Within our splash page, we have a button link to go to our sign up or register, along with another button that goes to our login. If we take a look at each of these artboards, you'll see our register has a complete button or a complete action, along with a secondary link to our login, while our login page has a complete action, and all the completes basically should lead to home, and a secondary link to our uh, sign up or register page. So if we were to export this as is, what we're gonna get are just static uh, pages, and uh, let's just take a look at them right now, actually. Sorry, let's just delete any previous exports you might have had. Let's give it a fresh one. So if we take a look at our splash, you'll see this is all just static content. Register, this is all static content, etc. Uh, so in essence, now that we have our design, what we're going to want to do is add a little bit of functionality. So let's dive right into that. So if we were to prototype this, we would actually just you know, click the button and drag where we want to drag but we want to create the actual code that it'll output so within our register button what we want to do is we want to assign a link to the actual uh, button itself and we can do this using a single uh, element for either the background or the text or both or we can use a class tag with the register button folder to add an anchor link on its own. So for argument's sake, we're just going to create a quick anchor on the text element only. So there's always multiple ways to do something in Export Kit. So we're going to add link and we want this to go to the register page. Let's actually copy this because we're going to reuse it. Now what we want to do is also for the login, we want this to go to the login page. So let's add this to the text element. Now on our register page, we want the complete action to lead to home. So let's just simply add that. We want the secondary to lead to login, so let's add that there. Oh. We didn't add the .html. That would have came out in an error because it can't find that file. We need to make sure, we always need to make sure when we're adding links to link to the exact file. Now, as more access is given to prototype uh, eventually this will all be synced for you so if you have content that's already linked to your prototype we'll, we'll be able to access this in the future to create this for you but for now you're going to have to do this manually so for the login the complete action we also want this to go to home and the secondary to go to register So what we've done is, in essence, uh, oh, sorry, got to add the HTML. We've, in essence, created anchor links, which would have done the same thing as prototype that will link to another page or if we had content on the page that we wanted to link to as well. And this will render in the output with the functionality that we're expecting. So let's take a look. Let's make sure we have nothing selected. So we want to get all the artboards. Now if we go to our splash page, you should see that we can go to register. So this is our register page. Or we can go to login. 
and this is our login page. If we're on the login, we can go back to the sign up or we can navigate to the login. So you'll see that this is almost a looped effect. And either one of these buttons that we click will bring us to our home. So let's pretend we registered and now we have our home page. So now you can see, and again, this works in all export environments. So this is not just HTML. You can also do this in Android, JavaScript, etc. So now we have actual working content from our design without prototype using XD and export kit. Now, I also mentioned that we can link to specific content on the page. So uh, let's do that for argument's sake. Um, let's just find out what the name of this element is. So this is accommodation card. Uh, that's a pretty long name. And that's another accommodation card. Transportation alternative. These are all long names. Okay, so let's just call accommodation card. Uh, so what we want to do here is within this element, or let's actually just get this text here. So we're just going a little bit deeper and we're going to allow the text that you're seeing here that when we click it to link to the accommodation card in the output. So let's actually just add that here. All right. So let's just hope that's the only thing with the name accommodation card so you have to be very specific with the item and we can check it in the output just to make sure okay so that's the exact name so let's go ahead and let's re-export this content Now with our home page, you'll see that we can easily now also do an anchor link to another piece of content within the actual page itself. So very easily now we can create multiple anchor links and navigation style menus or buttons using export kit and Adobe XD.